Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paula. Thanks so much for joining me today. I am so excited to share this video with you guys. Recently, I started a full-time job and through this job, one of my colleagues mentioned something to me because I was expressing to him my frustration with doing my laundry. So if you don't know anything about me, guys, on this channel, I create DIYs and cleaning videos. I currently live in a one bedroom rental in this rental, it's just a basic unit. Since I do DIYs, I figured that I could make this place something that I would like to live in. So that's why I chose to live in something very simple. And since we are in COVID right now, we're actually in our third lockdown here in Ontario. So it's a little concerning taking all my stuff downstairs to the laundry room, not to mention lugging all the stuff, making sure you have the right change, and it's just a pain. So if you're feeling the same stress as I've felt, I'm hoping that this video at least give you an option of something else that you can do. So if I've spiked your curiosity, which I really hope that I have, let's just jump into the video, guys. guys so here it is this is a compact twin tub washer and spin dryer the washing machine will hold about 17 pounds of clothing if you don't know what that means guys I will show you that a little later in the video but this is perfect for apartments dorms as well as camping so I'm just gonna show you a closer look so here is your settings all this setting is is your timing as to how long you want the machine to run for. So this is on drain. Right now I'm just going to put it on normal because I just want a normal wash. Right here you can switch it to soft so that's more like a delicate wash. So again I'm just going to flick it back to normal. And then this side here is your spinner. So this is how long it will spin for. Okay and that's for this tub here. So this is the tub here that you're going to be washing with. So this is the side that you load all your laundry. So I right now have the, this is the hose that you attach to your faucet here. Okay, so I have an older faucet, but if you have a new fancier type faucet, there is a gadget you can actually attach to it and this hose will attach to that so you could still use it. So as you can see, I actually have mine set up in my kitchen because it's very portable, very lightweight. It recommends that wherever you decide to put this, that you put it on a flat surface and a little bit away from a wall or cupboards so that it doesn't bang into it, okay? That's with the spinning. Okay, so let's just get this started. You can see how it goes, okay? So we're gonna open this up. We're going to turn on our water. You see the water's going in there. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my soap. So this soap here that I'm using is my laundry soap that I actually make myself. I made a video before about how to create this laundry soap. I will leave that card here for you if you're interested in watching it. As well as I'll leave the link for the video in my description box. Now, if you're using these uh, fabric beads, sorry, fabric beads, it recommends you not to use too many of them, okay? So, I would say about that much. I know that's not a lot, but don't use any more than that, okay? So now I'm going to start loading the machine to give you an idea of what six, or sorry, 17.6 pounds of laundry look like. Okay, so I'm just going to start throwing my laundry in. As you can see, there's a laundry basket right beside there. I'm just going to start throwing those in. 
So that's a sweatshirt, and I wear medium to a large. So look, like there's so much space in there, okay? But there's quite a few you can put in here, guys. So for me, this is like super helpful because the only thing I'll really have to wash downstairs still in the machine is like a heavy blanket or, you know, towels because those I'll have to dry downstairs, right? But there you go. So that whole load is completely empty, okay? So it's all in the machine now. So now we're going to turn the machine on. Okay, so I'm going to run it for the full 15 minutes. Sorry, let me just put that up there. Sorry. So I'm going to run it for the full 15 minutes. And you're going to be able to see inside. Okay, look at it. It's okay if you're feeling a little skeptical about this machine, guys, because honestly, I felt the same way until I've actually tried using this. The machine does recommend that you cannot put super soiled clothing in here, like something soiled in oil or in grease. I think that becomes flammable in this machine, so they advise you not to do that. Okay, so this is gonna run now for 15 minutes. So I'm just going to speed up this part of the video, okay guys? So the machine is almost finished washing now, guys. Okay, so it's just going to stop. Then I'm going to drain the water and we're going to rinse it. So to drain the water, you have to get yourself a bucket. So on the side of the machine here, there's this hose here, and it has, see a little clip on there? Don't cut that off, because that's what you use just to set it like that on the side of the machine. Okay, so you're just gonna take that off. You're gonna put the hose, sorry, into your bucket, and then the water's going to drain. So I'm just draining the water from the rinse cycle. I didn't take you to that part because you kind of have the idea. I just would have filled the tub back up, would have done the 15 minutes or however long I wanted to, let it go its cycle, and then just drain the water. So that's basically what I'm doing now is draining the water from the rinse cycle. So while that's draining, guys, I'm actually going to start spin drying the clothes. So while you're spin drying the clothes, make sure you still have the hose in your bucket because as it spins the water out, the water needs to go someplace. So as you can see, my clothes are pretty wet because it hasn't been spinning in there. It's just been washing. So they're pretty wet. As you can see, it's dripping. Okay, so I'm just going to put a few items in here right now, just to give you an idea, and then close up the lid. So this part, when I first turn it on, is the loudest part because the motor's just winding up and it's going to sound a little loud. Then it's going to get quiet once the load is settled and it'll just spin for the amount of time that I've set it for and it's going to come out almost dry.
So it's set for a five minute spin. Just so you know, if you have small children around and they come over to the machine because it might look like a toy to them, if they lift up the lid, it will immediately stop. There is that safety mechanism and I'm gonna demonstrate that for you right now. So watch, if I lift it up, it's gonna stop immediately. See, immediately, okay? So no one's gonna get hurt. Put it down, it's gonna wind back up again, go through the rest of its cycle until it's finished. So one more thing I wanted to point out, which I forgot to mention right up here, there is a, um, a water spout here. So the spout that I used on the other side to fill the machine up with water, if you like to rinse your clothes while they're spinning, you most definitely can do that. You can attach the hose there and rinse it if you don't like anything on your clothes whatsoever. So you do have that option. So I just grabbed my laundry basket because the load is almost finished. It's got about 20 seconds to go and it's done. Okay, so I just clicked there. So it's now finished. Okay, so we're just gonna check this out now. And you saw how dripping wet they were. And look, they're almost dry. And you can see, cause there's just a little bit of wet spot, but you can see the dry spot. So like that's how dry they are. Okay, and the other item, almost dry as well. So I know I only put like a few items, but I mean, you can put many items in there as I showed you before. I mean, it's a, it's a good size spinner there, okay? So you just continue with the rest of your load. Just try not to overload things. And when you're putting stuff in the washer part as well as the dryer, in the uh, recommendations, it asks you to not push the clothes down. Okay, so don't push the clothes down because it creates more volume inside both the tubs, which will increase the weight and it won't be able to distribute things properly. One, it won't wash your clothes or spin them properly. And it also could damage the machine. So I'm just gonna continue here. Again, you can see how it's dripping. Okay, and that's a sweatshirt. And a long sleeve shirt. So again, here we go. You're gonna hear it loud again. Now when you heard that knocking, it's just trying to even the load, okay? So I guess I was kind of pushing it a little bit far. So you try not to put too much in there at a time. So if you see in the bottom of the washer, there still is a little bit of water in there. Don't be concerned about that because it actually drains everything so there's nothing in the bottom of the washer at all. So it's almost finished spinning guys and as you can see the water there it's all drained out so there's nothing left in there and this is now finished and again everything is almost dry guys so now you're just gonna take your clothes and hang them up on a rack or however you dry your clothing and that's it so hopefully I was able to help some of you out there that are looking for a solution to doing your laundry other than using your public washer and dryer like myself so again this is good for people that live in apartment buildings that are not allowed to have their own washer and dryer if you also live in a dorm this gives you another option and as well as it's portable to take it camping. The only thing that you need, of course, is a water source, but you also need an outlet because you have to plug this in. 
So another thing too I should mention to you guys is that the machine that I have is actually the largest. So there is other options available. So I, again, I will leave the link to this machine below in my description box so you can take a look at that. I also will leave the link for my homemade laundry detergent in case you haven't seen that video. It's a fantastic video and it gives you another option to make your own laundry soap. And I've had no issues with this laundry soap getting my clothing clean. If anything, my clothes actually come out cleaner. They dry faster and they're a lot softer. So remember when you decide to do some laundry, if you choose to purchase one of these, make sure that what you're going to wash, that it's going to fit in the side that spins. But just common sense, guys. So as long as it's gonna fit in the spinner, it's definitely something that you could wash. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, I hope that I've created a solution for you. If you're new to my channel, I would really love for you to hit that subscribe button that you see there on your screen. I thank you guys so very much for watching today. And I look forward to seeing you guys again very soon. Bye.